Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to finally share with you guys um, the things that I received for my birthday which is sort of like a birthday collective haul. So just a few of the things that I have received and purchased myself. Um, so it has been a few weeks now so you may or may not have seen a few of these items already on my blog or my Snapchat or my Instagram. Um, I do tend to preview a lot of my new items on those sort of social media platforms because I have less of a follow so it's a little bit more exclusive so if you are interested in you know previewing a lot of my things before I show them to you on YouTube go ahead and follow me on my snapchat um, blog and Instagram I sincerely apologize if you've already seen a few of these things before but I just thought I'd do a video to showcase everything that I got so you guys have a point of reference and a little backstory to you know what I got very briefly I did make a post on my blog titled you know, birthday wish list and I really did that just more for fun, more for me because there was a few things I was lasting after for my birthday and it just I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do since having a blog and a lot of you guys really enjoyed it because you know it showed you guys a few of the things that I was looking at getting and you know gave you guys ideas of what you could possibly purchase but I honestly didn't think that anyone from you know either my boyfriend or my friends would be looking at that. But Without further ado, let me just get started and show you what I received and also what I have purchased myself. I will start off with what I purchased myself because for me, uh, my birthday has always just been more of an excuse to buy things for myself. I never expect to receive anything for my birthday because we've just never made it a tradition in our family. Being part of a family of seven, it's just, you know, it gets a bit too much if you're buying a present for six people every year. So it's just always more about spending time with each other. And my brothers are younger, they don't really have jobs, so I'm not going to be expecting anything from them. But I do receive um, a present every year from my partner or my boyfriend, and I also buy a present for myself every year. So let's get on to the first thing that I want to show you, which is a purchase I made much, much earlier in the year. And that is this. This is the Chanel Medium Large um, Classic Flap in the lambskin leather and gold hardware. Um, I do have several videos on this already, including a vlog where I was unboxing it and also a reveal video explaining my thought process behind purchasing this. But I always have wanted to purchase a Chanel Classic Flap. Um, turning 27 for some reason or another resonates with me. I don't know why, but you know 27 is sort of my my number I guess because I was born on the 20th of the 7th um but you know 26 I feel is just like yeah okay 25 eh. 27 is really what kind of speaks to me so I thought it would be a good opportunity to purchase this and I did sort of buy it a little bit earlier than my actual birthday but I did promise myself to only wear it on the day of my birthday so I was able to finally wear it on the 20th and it was really really exciting but at the same time because I bought it so so early in the year I was still kind of lusting after something else for my birthday so that might explain why I went ahead and made another purchase for myself. The next item that I did sort of purchase for myself for my birthday is this Balenciaga bag. Now I was sort of in two minds about purchasing this. I was looking at this for a while and I have been stalking this bag on a particular website because I've always wanted Balenciaga and this style spoke to me and I did struggle to find this style in the silver hardware. I saw several in the gold. All of the websites that sold the silver hardware were from you know the US that didn't ship to Australia. Fast forward a few months I did actually find it on Cult Status which is a boutique in Perth that sell Balenciaga um, and they have been doing so for many years and it is a brand new sort of Balenciaga and they were selling it online for around $2.9 so that is significantly less than the recommended retail of $3.5 on the Balenciaga website and on Net-a-Porte and Maitre's and all of those other sort of boutique online stores. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to purchase it 
you know, somewhere down the line from that website. However, very recently when I went to sort of look at the item again, they had a price increase on the website. So I did get in contact with the shop owners because having been in contact with them before when it was retailing for 2829, they on the price that I was looking at purchasing it for originally, it was more of a 24 hour offer. So I had to sort of jump on it and you know, for a brand new bag, that's, you know, $500 less than retail, I sort of just wash it. So a bit of an impulse buy, but not at the same time. It was more of an opportunistic purchase. I would have preferred to purchase it um, maybe a little bit later down the track. So for Christmas or for another sort of birthday, but I didn't want to miss out on the chance of purchasing it brand new for, for less than recommended retail. And yeah, with these price increases, with these bags, you just never know. So yeah, I kind of just jumped the gun on this one, but I do love this bag and I'm glad to have it in my collection because I don't really have a sort of black go-to everyday bag, so this is perfect for that. Now, I am in two minds about revealing this to you guys just because I'm not, <laughs> not really sure if I'm going to count this as a birthday present to myself. I might actually call it a Christmas present. I'm not sure, um, but... Yeah, I did purchase it around that same time, so I'm just going to include it in this video. Um, but it is a Chanel Classic Walk, and I think I might have already revealed it in another video. Um, if not, I definitely would have shown it in a blog post, so I'll put that in the info bar below. But it is a Chanel Classic wallet on chain, and... Um, this item was another sort of opportunistic purchase because it was second hand so it's not one of those things that I could have waited. I had to get it then and there um, and in the spirit of buying things for my birthday I did go ahead and splurge on it. Um, uh, I just, I, I tend to, uh, when I see something for you know a really really great price and, and it's on my wish list and I know I'm going to get it anyways, I tend to just buy it then and there rather than wait for it to go up in price. So this is the Chanel Classic um, Walk or Wallet on Chain and this is an item that I mentioned again on you know several wish lists and on my birthday wish list but this was more of an item that I was looking at purchasing um, but not really actively looking for it. As I said, this was secondhand and I purchased it from a well-known consignment seller from Japan called Gallery Rare. They were amazing with the transaction and they actually provided me with a free dust bag after sort of contacting them. I had really wanted to get brand new, but honestly, when you compare this with the metallic edge, so this is 3000, this retails for 2728 um, brand new in store. Really, you know, which one is better value for money? I just, I couldn't justify spending $3,000 on this brand new. So when I saw this for, you know, the amazing price that it was going for on eBay, I had to go and purchase it. And I was in the spirit of spending for my for my birthday so I kind of just again jumped the gun on this one but I really don't regret it at all and I'm so so happy that I have this in my collection. I have already talked about it on my blog so if you guys are interested I'll put the link in the info bar below but if you want me to do a separate video about you know what fits in it, how I style it, what I think of it and compare it to the mini just let me know and I will go ahead and do that. So that's everything that I bought myself. All bags, naughty me, I know. Um, <laughs> probably not the wisest thing, but any excuse to buy a bag, really. I'm gonna move on to the things that I got from my you know, friends and family. So I'll start off with um, this jumper that I received from my gorgeous little sister. So it is a Mickey Mouse jumper. So it's got Mickey Mouse at the front and the back and she knows that I'm absolutely obsessed with these sort of fleece jumpers. I'm wearing the same thing now from Cotton On and she has the same one. Um, they're just so, so comfy and I love styling them with, you know, dress pants just to dress it up a little bit or casually with jeans, with skirts, things like that. But I absolutely love them and they're just, just absolute essentials for me, um, especially in winter because they're just, they're just so comfortable and I love, love Mickey Mouse. So, so, so happy I have this and we are twinning because she has the same thing. <laughs> 
Now moving on to an item that I received from my partner. So it comes in the Saint Laurent box and it's in this cute little dust bag and it is the Saint Laurent card holder. Now if you guys watch Minnie from, what is it, Minx for All? Um, she has actually talked about this card holder and did direct me to the best place to purchase it which was Selfridges. Um, if you guys didn't know, Selfridges stocks some you know, Saint Laurent card holders and when they ship it or export it to your country if you're not from the UK or I believe Europe they actually remove the European VAT so they remove any sort of taxes um, and then coming into Australia because it's under a thousand dollars didn't have to pay any customs or duties on top of it so on the Saint Laurent website it retails for 330 Australian dollars and I got it for 240 including the tax or at least my boyfriend paid that much so absolutely love it it's just so so gorgeous it is in that pebbled leather with the chevron design and the YSL monogram in gold now a lot of people did ask me because I did put this on my wish list why I wasn't interested in the Chanel card holder and honestly it's purely for the fact that I just think it's a little bit too much money for a Chanel card holder when you can get a YSL one which is just as gorgeous for almost half the price so yeah I did go ahead and get this one instead and you know it's a little bit different to the Chanel one I feel like if you have Chanel everything it just gets a little bit too much so I'm trying to mix up my collection a little bit and I absolutely love this and it will go perfectly with my classic flat just like that and I can also put my YSL or mini yeah it's just fine it is a little bit bigger compared to my mom purse card holder so if you really wanted something slim and compact that would maximize the space of your bags i would recommend the thinner ones where it doesn't have the embossing and the um chevron design or go for the mom purse which is really really thin and yeah really functional so that's that one and then finally, my gorgeous friends from Brisbane did surprise me with this Bredo perfume, which again was actually on my wish list on my blog. And it is Balbefric. So I absolutely love this perfume and I've been meaning to purchase it for the longest time as I mentioned in my blog post um, but you know these Bredo perfumes are quite expensive they're like 250 a bottle so it's not cheap I was actually considering getting like just the roll-on one because that was a lot cheaper but you know they went ahead and purchased me this which is really lucky because I was actually going to get it um, but I decided not to and I thought I'd just wait a while and get it for Christmas but I got this which I'm just over the moon about and really really happy to finally have a new perfume to wear. Can't wait to try more of the Bredo perfumes but I love love this one. It's just a nice fresh but um, vanilla -y scent as well so yeah, if you guys haven't smelled it go ahead and do so. It's just gorgeous. So that is it guys. That is everything that I received. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. Um, as I said, I didn't receive a lot. A lot of it I purchased myself, but the ones that I did receive, I'm so, so thankful for, um, especially to my friends who are just like stalking me from the other side of Australia. I'm so, so thankful. I didn't ask them for anything, but they kind of just stalked my blog and purchased it for me, which was the sweetest thing. So thank you, Shani. Thank you, Bish, Akriti, Jordan, Jahara. I love you guys. Really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, go and check out my blog if you haven't already to see what else I was sort of lusting after. Or follow my Instagram and my Snapchat. That's where I sort of show a few of these products already. And yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this. I try to make videos every week. Um, although it's a little bit hard sometimes with my hectic schedule. Um, but yeah, go ahead and subscribe so it will notify you of any new videos I make. And yeah, if you want to see more, check out my playlist for more hauls, more fashion videos, or even handbag videos. I would love to see you guys again. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys are having an amazing week or weekend. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.